Nemesio Cervantes, alias El Mencho, is a Mexican cartel lord and the boss of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, which is a coke trafficking organization centered in Jalisco. He is the most wanted person in Mexico and is one of the most sought after people in the United States as well. El Mencho's father's surname is Cervantes, and his mother's surname is also Cervantes. El Mencho is purportedly in charge of global coke trafficking activities. He's wanted for narcotics trafficking and just in general involvement in organized crime. Under his leadership, the CJNG rose to prominence as one of Mexico's most powerful criminal organizations. The following are 10 most important facts about El Mencho. Oseguera Ruben Cervantes was born on July 17, 1966, in the vulnerable farming city of Aguilia, Michoacán's western state. He took the name Nemesio, which many believe he chose to honor his godfather. It was abbreviated to El Mencho, with no further obvious significance. El Mencho, who was born into poverty in Mexico, cultivated avocados and dropped out of primary school before illegally entering the United States. El Mencho, 55, is from Michoacán and has worked with the Valencia family since he was a child, patrolling their avocado fields and then acting as a coke trafficker on their behalf. He was deported to Mexico in the early 1990s after being imprisoned multiple times and working with the Milenio cartel. His notoriety stemmed from his tough administration and sensational acts of violence against competing for crime groups as well as Mexican security personnel. These attacks drew more official attention and a massive manhunt for him. The Jalisco New Generation Cartel is one of Mexico's most formidable cartels, responsible for some of the bloodiest attacks on Mexican security forces, including a 2015 ambush in Jalisco that ended the lives of 15 cops. After some of his employers were captured or executed, he eventually rose to the head of the criminal organization and created the CJNG. He's in charge of organizing worldwide coke trafficking operations, which have extended their original power base in the Mexican state of Jalisco to virtually a countrywide presence. According to security experts, the organization was also behind last year's brazen assassination attempt on Mexico City's police chief, Omar Garcia Harfuch. Separately, two Mexican Marines were kidnapped in Zapopan on Tuesday and the administration was afraid that this was connected to Mrs. Gonzalez's arrest, according to a Mexican official quoted by Reuters. Milenio appointed El Mencho, a trained sicario, or murder, as a cartel lieutenant to command one of its cells in Guadalajara. He instilled loyalty as a boss while directing his team of assassins. Members of Los Zetas cartel were targeted by El Mencho and his gang. They became known as Las Matazetas, or Zeta killers, and they vowed to protect people from the vicious cartel, which was mostly made up of former special ops soldiers. Locals had no idea El Mencho would turn out to be even more dangerous later on. El Mencho was identified as a threat by coke operatives stationed in Mexico and America, as well as Mexican police counterparts as early as 2010. El Mencho's discipline is one of the many keys to his success. He works out every day to keep his excellent fighting shape. To avoid making the same mistakes as past cartel leaders, he didn't use any narcotics or drink alcohol. This allowed him to elude capture by fleeing for days in the Rocky Islands. He's also rarely seen, preferring to stay in distant compounds that are difficult for police to enter. He spends his free time on ranches, riding horses, or racing motorcycles. He instills terror and submission by extreme violence in acid baths, decapitations, and even cannibalism. Many of these heinous deaths are documented on social media by his cartel members. This includes torture and murder movies posted on YouTube threats made on Twitter and Facebook, and, and even photos of people just dangling from bridges. The CJNG specializes in bribing police and authorities as well for murdering the incorruptible. Nine bodies were found dangling from a busy roadway near Nueva Laredo, Mexico. CJNG took credit and hoisted a banner to the right. El Mencho has remained free, even though the majority of his immediate family, including his wife, had been detained by U.S. and Mexican officials. El Mencho's wife is Rosalina Gonzalez Valencia. They have three children, Ruben Osaguera Gonzalez, Jessica Juana, Laisha Rosalinda, and they've all been charged with laundering money for the murderous Jalisco New Generation Cartel, which her husband, El Mencho, leads. Her arrest came on the heels of those of her brothers and two of her children. Ruben Osaguera Gonzalez, also known as El Menchito, was arrested by Mexican authorities in 2015 on coke trafficking accusations. 
Minchito was next in line to lead the violent CJNG cartel, but he didn't cut it. He was imprisoned and extradited to the U.S. in February of 2020, where he's presently awaiting trial. Jessica Osaguera Gonzalez, often known as La Negra, flew to Washington to see her brother, but was detained when she arrived at the courts. La Negra was sentenced to 30 months in a U.S. jail after her involvement in many companies associated with money laundering for the CJNG, including two sushi restaurants and a collection of tourist cabins in Jalisco, the state's capital, Guadalajara. El Mencho is well organized, but he is also vicious. He's almost invisible and in public as well, like a ghost. And the reason for this is that, well, you guessed it, he's a wanted man, and images of him can be found all over the internet. Even though he runs a billion dollar business, he don't flaunt his fortunes like the previous cajonas known for purchasing marbled homes and speed into the streets of Guadalajara and Mexico City in Lamborghinis and Bugattis. According to DEA officers in Mexico who have spent years studying his army and pursuing him, Almencio would not want to live that lifestyle in the first place. They say he's happiest on a horse in the mountains of Jalisco, hours away from the hustle and bustle of the state's capital city. Wow, so serene for a man that's founded his entire life on violence. Now, he enjoys betting on bullfights and cockfights, and according to rumors, he reportedly lost $100,000 on just one wager. That, that's certainly plausible according to agents, but they're not sure if it's a fact or just part of the legend disseminated by people who glorify him in the narco life. El Mencho is the principal defendant in a federal indictment returned in the District of Columbia in 2017, charging him of being the leader of an ongoing criminal organization. He's also accused of conspiring to send huge volumes of cocaine into the United States and of employing weapons in these coke trafficking offenses. El Mencho is also facing meth trafficking allegations stemming from a federal indictment in Gulfport, Mississippi in 2013. El Mencho's son, Ruben Osaguera Gonzalez, is charged in a two-count indictment returned in the District of Columbia in 2017 with plotting to send significant quantities of cocaine into the United States by employing a handgun during his coke trafficking offenses. Until his detention, the son, again known as El Menchito, was next in line to take over the CJNG. El Menchito is his father's name, but the two are so dissimilar that the son is way more vulnerable. El Menchito was apprehended by the Mexican army and federal police in Zapopan, west of Guadalajara, in June 2015. The officers discovered two assault guns, one with the acronym CJNG-02JR and the other with Menchito. Little boy Menchito had been arrested the year before, but had been released by a judge. He attempted to avoid charges by claiming he is not El Mencho's biological son, which DA officers believe is capital false. El Menchito is still imprisoned and awaiting extradition to the United States. Investigators believe he is hiding under a jungle canopy or in the highlands and rural districts of Jalisco, his native Michoacan. They believe him to be protected by layers of security, including paramilitary trained with and heavily armed guards. El Mencho, as it was discovered, does not stay in one spot for very long and moves across various municipalities in Jalisco as well as other states of Michoacan, Colima and Nayarit. He's a powerful cartel lord with 5,000 followers dispersed across Jalisco. He's been on the run for years, trying to avoid the manhunts that began within a year of his ascension to power. I mean, he's known to surround himself with men who are willing to die for him. On at least three occasions, the U.S. coke operatives and Mexican officials have worked together to find El Mencho's hiding places. In rural Jalisco, police raided his secret compounds, but he was always able to find a way out. According to DEA intelligence analyst, El Mencho directed cartel members to remain inside of the residence and fire at the police during the 2012 operation. While four lives of cartel members were lost, he and his son Menchito retreated into the highlands. On May 1st of 2015, the Mexican military found El Mencho's hiding place and dispatched two military helicopters to capture him. But his men shot down one of the helicopters with a Russian-made rocket-propelled grenade launcher. Or RPG for you gamers out there. And uh, that about does it for today's video, I reckon. Do like and share and subscribe to our channel and all that fun and boring stuff. And uh, yeah, you'll get notified when we post new stuff. Thanks for watching. Later.